All right, well, as many of you may know, I recently upgraded my computer, not only to Hardware 2, the center screen on my Model X, but also the full self-driving computer. And I've got full Sentry mode now, not because of the full self-driving computer, but because of Hardware 2. And I'm going to, this video is basically explaining how to use your memory stick or whatever you're going to use to record your video because you want to record it when you're in Sentry mode so that you can have video in case someone vandalized your car, you get in an accident, that kind of thing. So let's get right to it and I'll show you what I'm gonna do, how it's gonna work here in the Model X. And this will work in any Tesla, really. It's, it's almost identical procedure. All right, first off, you can see my software version. 2020.24.6.1 is what I've got. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna install this. It's a Samsung, like a flash drive. You can see it's very small. And I got this one because I've used small flash drives like this, actually even smaller. The, some of them are even a third of this. The SanDisk makes one. And they used to be metal bodies like this. See how the body's metal? But they moved to plastic. So if you're going to keep this in the car, what happens is the plastic body that's on here where my thumb is, it uh, starts to degrade and it snaps in half and breaks and it's just a big mess. And you got to get it replaced under warranty. It's been a big uproar for SanDisk because they had some great technology there, but they went cheap. That's what happened. So I would get the, Sa the Samsung. I got this on uh, Amazon.com and it sticks out just a little bit. I would not get big, big, big ones because there's not a lot of room in your car. And when the, when some, a lot of these are like literally five times the depth of this on the, pla on the top plastic end. And whoa, motorcycle. Okay. And so they stick out way too far. You're going to end up damaging them or messing up your USB port or something like that. So where do we install them? Let's see. Well, here's my center console. I've got two ports. One of them's open, you can see. One of them's got something in it. I can install either there or the back side of the console, which I'm going to try first and see if that works. So I want to go to safety, security, sentry mode, dash cam. So I'll take this thing out, basically just plug it in. And if, if it's going to be recognized in the back section, because I don't ever use the back seat. You saw my mattress there. I use it for car camping. That would be ideal for me. Let's see if it responds when I plug it in uh, and that stuff on dash cam is no longer grayed out. All right, pushed it in. Let's see if it uh, recognizes it. Give it a minute. And yeah, some of these ports don't work, so I have a feeling the back ports are not going to work for this. you got to use the ones that are forward facing in the front seats of your Model S or X. And I'm thinking, you know, three is probably the same, three and Y are probably the same. Oh, and this is why I can't do Sentry mode except on my phone. I didn't put my home address in. Okay, gotta do that. So let's do that first, and then at least that'll be available as well. And when I plug this thing into the, the front ports, you'll see that this is gonna basically prompt me to format the USB device. So make sure it's brand new. Make sure the device you get is brand new because you're gonna basically wipe out everything because it's gotta do a specific formatting for Tesla. All right, there, and now I can keep my Sentry mode on all the time because I put my home address in. I, I just, it wipes everything out on your computer. I figured maybe that would come back, but that did not come back. Actually, none of my trip history came back either. And that may be why everything is running faster. By the way, I'm gonna use that as a tip to have your computer running faster. I've been to these places, but I'm going to get rid of them. Let's see, how do you get, there we go. Get rid of them, get rid of them. So it's not gonna build up in my history. I don't think there's a, I mean, there's not, there's no clear all button, unfortunately. I wish there was. If there's some way to do it and you're out there, please let me know. But look, that will free up my memory in my computer, I think. But I love how fast it is. Oh, and by the way, if you're watching this and you watched previous, previous, you see how my old screen, Tesla was supposed to change it. They're going to either give me a credit or give me a free screen replacement in the near future. Right now, I don't need one, but as you know, these screens eventually get delaminated, go bad, whatever. So I might just hold on to that till I actually absolutely need it and not worry about the yellowing for right now. Okay, so let's plug this thing in the front and get it to light up. There it is. Ah, there it is. Yes, you see that? Now it's asked me to format. So let's format that sucker. It's brand new. We don't have to worry about anything on here. So let, let's format it. And I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. Hmm, that didn't seem to actually do anything, did it? That was so fast. Format USB, let's try it again just to be sure. 
Format is XFAT. All data will be completely erased. Format. All right, now that went away. Okay, maybe it didn't work the first time. You guys saw it, it didn't work. Okay, so save clips on honk. I don't know, do we need? Save, save clips on honk. Interesting. So whenever I honk, it'll save a clip. Let me, my neighbors are gonna love this. Let me wait this, for this car to go by. Okay, let's see how it works. Hmm. Well, ah, you hear that? It beeped. So it must have saved something. Well, we are all set then. That's all you have to do. This is a pretty simple video. Let's see if there's anything else I need to do. And oh, by the way, I also found that cabin overheat protection. I don't know if they changed it or not, but it only works for up to 12 hours after you leave the car. Interesting. So if you park in a shady area at night, one night, the next morning it may not um, have anything there. Um, in terms of cabin overheat protection, you might go up to 110 or whatever. I noticed that today. Now here, sentry mode is on. That's what that red dot in the middle. See, like I can turn it off, but also dash cam is on. This is recording. It's gonna re and it's gonna record onto the device. Okay. Now I can also manually save the f save footage. Car must be in park to view. All right. Let's see. I, and I can view it here. Let's see. Let's launch the viewer. See how that works. Oh, interesting. All right. It saw that car go by. That car went by after the second, after the first car went by. And there, it's just constantly recording. I guess it's always recording, huh? If I go back, you can see that car go by. And there's the front camera. Actually, let me see you, what kind of angle you can see a car going by. No, that's just a straight hmm, front, rear. I don't, hmm. I guess this is front too. I don't know. Wait, front, rear. Okay, you can get bigger images. Interesting. Interesting. Colors aren't as nice on these other cameras. But that's pretty cool. And of course, you can plug it in your computer and do the same thing. So we are all set and ready to go. Let me make sure that we are dash cam there. Okay, it's red. That means it's recording, right? It's just constantly recording. So of course, it's used, all uses battery, all uses juice. But thankfully, I've got free unlimited supercharging from Mr. Tesla, Elon. So we are all ready to go. We are all good oh and one final thing about this sentry mode I do not want to exclude anything I want it to always be on I want these cameras to always be running and recording so and we want to sentry mode to always be on regardless of where it's parked so I would highly recommend you do that and here's what Tesla says about sentry mode in case you want all the details you can uh, I'm not gonna stay much longer on the screen you can always pause this video or she'll be in 4k and uh, read all the details yourself all right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully it was valuable for you and you figured this out, especially if you don't own a Tesla and don't know what the heck I'm talking about or if you do and are not familiar with computers, USB cards, all that kind of stuff, uh, memory sticks, memory cards, or whatever you call them, thumb drives. I don't know what you call them. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Hit the thumbs up and the bell for notifications. We will see you in the next video.